So good morning people and welcome to Cooking on the Corsican. This is just a little piece that I'm going to fit in in front of this week's vlog because I noticed there was a mistake in it. So this week's vlog is Kedgeree. It's the 31st of August today. We've not got the boat back yet so the boat's now been in for one month. Hopefully we'll get it back tomorrow. If not tomorrow, definitely next Friday. So anyway, the mistake in the vlog is I keep saying in the vlog mackerel, mackerel. The fish is not mackerel. It's undyed smoked haddock. So I'll apologise for that. But while I'm on camera and at home, I thought I would just give you a little quick show about and show you where cooking on the Corsican lives. And uh, this is my little home in Norwich. It's not very big, so this won't take long. But I'm starting up the stairs. And uh, as you can see, it's not an actual upstairs, it's a mezzanine level above the above the living room. You know, but it's a big space, a king size bed and uh, and two cabinets. And of course Austin has to stay up here as well. He likes to he won't sleep downstairs. So that's his other little bed there. I'll give you a quick view from the window, show you what it's like here. It's quite a nice place, nice and quiet. So that is basically the whole size of the of the bedroom. No pictures up around, I took them all down because we're going to be doing some painting. And off the bedroom I've got this other little tiny room. It's um, got a little dressing room and then another little cupboard where the boiler and everything's kept. So. There you go, that's the upstairs for all of it. We'll head down, get a quick look downstairs. And I'll take you out in the tiny little hallway. And uh, this is my bathroom, which has just all been done. The still needs painting, but we've just had this beautiful new shower fitted. Lovely new walk-in shower and uh, drains away through the floor and everything, so it's absolutely superb. All my little knickknacks and so on and so forth. The dog's watching me because he follows me everywhere. And then you come into what is the living room, dining room, and uh, the kitchen. I'll take you into the kitchen first because it's so very big. There is the kitchen. Not really much bigger than the boat. But uh, it's amazing what I've cooked in here. But as you can see, it is tiny. And uh, Austin's getting a bit excited. Hope it's not too dark in here. What are you doing, son? Hope you're behaving. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just open uh, a little bit of light in. Obviously I like the dark with my eyesight. But yeah, there you go. That's the whole size of the house. And uh, not very big, but very nice. Big enough for me and the dog. Who's gone mental. Behave. And there's his downstairs bed. So there you go, people. That's where uh, cooking on the Corsican lives. So I shall add this to the front of my vlog this week. And uh, remember, the fish is not mackerel, it's undyed smoked haddock. Enjoy the vlog people. So good morning people and it's Sunday morning and excuse the mess. As I explained to you the boat's going in today, it's going in since the 30th of July. July and the boat's going in today for about a month to have lots of work done on it. So over this weekend I've been doing three vlogs so I can put your vlog up every week. I've done the beautiful tomato sauce which you must give it a go. i then done the bolognese, the tagliatelle bolognese which is delicious. Some people might think oh I'm not going to go to all that hard work but I'll tell you if you want an ultimate dinner party dish that is the ultimate dinner party dish. And this morning Steve and I have decided to have as we'd have sometimes we don't have it very often, but we sometimes have, if we've got some leftover rice, we buy a bit of smoked haddock and we have a kedgeree. 
Now, my kedgeree is much like anybody else's, but instead of using curry powder, I use a little bit of paste. Normally, I've made it myself, but today I haven't. I've just bought a, I've just bought a, 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 a Patek's a Madras paste. Is what I've bought, and I've used this before to make um, to make kedgeree. But anyway, let's get on with it because it's a very very quick dish. It won't take long at all. You want a little bit of oil. This pan is on heating. That's about two spoonfuls. Put a wee bit in for luck. Okay. And we want a knob of butter. Which we've always got a bit of lure pack handy. So there you are. There's a nice knob of butter. We'll just let that melt. Now, I don't know if you like kedgeree. Personally, I love it. It's a, it's a delicious meal. Not just to have in the morning, to be honest with you. It's a lovely thing to have for your dinner in the evening, but it is a breakfast dish, really. So, listen, this is onions in here, but I'd, I had three or four mushrooms left over from the bolognese, and I wasn't going to waste them, so I thought, to hell with it. I'll just stick them in the, in the kedgeree. So there you go. That can go there, out the road. I am going to put a little bit of salt in, but I'm going to be very careful because I have got smoked fish. So I shall put a little bit of salt in. I didn't bother putting my salt in that in its little dishes because We are getting rid of the boat today. Very quick. This is only going to be a one take vlog. Now this rice is, is just a basmati rice. And if you want to know how I cooked this rice, go back to my earlier vlog on two ways how to cook rice. And I done this using the second method, okay? And I just let it dry out, and then I put it in that dish, and we put it in the fridge overnight, and we've taken out the fridge. And as you can see, it's lovely and dry. And I'll tell you something right now, if you don't use the right rice for this dish, it won't work out. The rice will all stick together. So, there you go. So now those onions have cooked, cooked down a little bit and it's now time to use, most people now would put in some curry powder but I am not, I, I personally think it's much better using a little bit of the paste and I'm going to put in about two teaspoonfuls, okay? But the, tr the trick is, is you have to cook the paste out or it'll have that kind of, it'll have that, I, can't, I don't know what you really call the taste, but it's not a very pleasant taste if you don't, if you don't um, cook the paste. So please remember to cook the paste. Okay. I'll give that jar to my gorgeous assistant. And uh, once as I always say, if you'd smell a vision. Mm. Now I'm going to just let that cook out and I'm going to explain to you what I've done with the fish because I didn't, I didn't uh, do the fish, I did it already. So the fish was just two slices of undyed smoked mackerel and all I done was I used this pan clean, I put the two bits of fish in it and I covered them with ordinary whole milk, I put some salt and pepper in and I brought it to the boil and as soon as it came to the boil I turned it off and I put a lid on and I left it for about six to eight minutes and that's a beautiful way to do fish depending how thick the piece of fish is. It needs anything for about 6 to 12 minutes and your fish will be lovely and translucent in the middle and not overcooked and lovely and succulent. So that's all I've done, left it for 6 minutes 
um, let the let it cool a little, and then I stripped the stripped it down, put it in this little container here. So that is undyed. If you're going to buy smoke mackerel, please buy undyed. It's far superior. So once this curry paste is cooked out for two or three minutes. which it has been about now. It really is lovely, this. This is our Sunday morning last meal on the Corsican. So we're having a little bit of a breakfast treat. Now I'm going to start adding my rice. Don't know what happened there, the camera went out, but we've restarted it. I'm sure I'll be able to I'm sure I'll be able to sew it together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Steve just to walk over and get the kettle because it's got a bit of water in it and that's the one thing that I forgot. Steve just walk over and get me the kettle please. All you do is just put a little bit of water in, just while the rice is frying. The pan's on a moderate heat. Comes together so quickly this. Really does. So I didn't want to go away for for four weeks people and leave you without a vlog so that's why this weekend we've worked hard to get you three nice vlogs I saw you've still got something to watch heaven forbid you should be three weeks without any cooking on the Corsican now, you see, I can feel that's going a little bit dry, so I'm going to add a little bit more water. And you can just do the same. You'll know what you'll be able to feel when it starts to go dry. Don't let it go dry. Okay? That's lovely. I'm just now going to put my fish in. All of it. This fish is so expensive. There's that tiny little bit of fish, you know, four quid for that tiny little bit of fish. I mean, there's hardly enough there to put on a sandwich, you know. Very expensive. So you turn the heat down a little bit. There you go. And I'm just going to be very gentle. Fold this fish through. I'm not going to do too much. Okay. I'm going to get my lemon juice, fresh lemon juice, remember, don't use that bottled crap. Okay, I'll eat it. A pip went in there, we thought we'd taken them all out, the half a lemon, but we missed one. Before we came on air, we halved a lemon and we took all the pips out, but we missed one, but to hell with it, I'll eat it. There you go, Steve. And really and truthfully, people, that really is your kedgeree. Okay? So I'll just leave that there for a second. Okay, and I shall take my eggs, which I've boiled, and I shall cut them in half. And I just brought them to a boil and I timed them for about five minutes. And by the way, I do not keep eggs in the fridge and I would advise you not to keep eggs in the fridge. Because I'll tell you, see when it comes to peeling them, God, if they've been in the fridge, they're a nightmare. So there you go, there's my eggs. The kettle will come out the road. 
that'll come out the road. I'll just give this one last little stir. Okay. And what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to serve one of these up just to give you an idea of what a beautiful Sunday morning dish Kedgeri is. And look at that, it's not dry at all. It's lovely and um, lovely and moist. That's just telling me I've got an email. There you go. And you just take four nice pieces of egg. Absolutely beautiful. Serve that and that'll be Steve's breakfast. So there is my interpretation of a beautiful kedgeri for, for our last vlog until the boat goes in. I hope you give it a go. I hope you try it and I hope you thoroughly enjoy it. So we'll see you at the... We won't see you in August, but we'll see you after August. Enjoy your time and we'll look forward to coming back for our next vlog on cooking on the Corsican. So bye-bye for now, people.